Hello, I am Frodo and this is Drive Test Video. Today I recorded 5 games I played with a deck called Tetsuko Rats. You can check out the deck tech video on my channel, the link is in the description down there below. It is a blast to play, I had great fun testing this deck and I hope you'll enjoy it. Have fun! Ok, so now we play our rats. We want the die roll, we want to start. Ok, <laughs> of course we have five lands and two rats hmm I feel like we wouldn't get more lands because we don't have that many of them in the deck so we keep it we have two rats sometimes it's enough it is raining outside I hope you can hear that because I want uh, the voice to be clear ok so we play our swamp and go <coughs> hey a blooming marsh so it might be snake ok it's not a land and we are ok with that because we have enough lands to cast this thing. Now I would li really like to draw Tetsuko. Or another rat, of course. Monument, maybe. There are many cards we can draw. Okay, Spore Crown Fallit. Oh, so Fanges. I love Mushroom's decks. Okay, next rat colony. We are okay with this. Okay, so cast rat colony. Next one. Now I now we need Tetsuko because, uh, like you know, these mushrooms are go white strategy and they can block our rats without problems, and we don't want our rats to die. So yeah, Tetsuko is what we need. Okay, two times green. What it will be? Song of Realize. It's not bad for us. At least for now. Okay, he didn't attack. I would because we don't want to trade anyway. Oh yeah, it's Tetsuko, and we have enough mana for another let rat colony it's great but he might have fatal push hmm so maybe I will cast I'm <coughs> sorry uh, rat colony first because maybe he would like to destroy it if he didn't want to so yeah. now Tetsuko and now we are in really good position we have quite a plenty unblockable rats which is great and next turn we can cast this oval chase dragster and crew it with our Tetsuko he needs removal If he wouldn't have it, we win. Next turn. Well, that would be. Yeah, so we win. Great. No removal. But what do we want against this deck? I don't think we want Ruin Rats. I believe Supernatural Stamina is good because we can trade our rats. The rest negate. Hmm. Ruin rat, no, dress, no, maybe for song. Oh, I don't think so. We need to cut something for supernatural stamina. I'll cut one rat colony, maybe two. One land, perhaps? We have 23 and we drew into five of them. Maybe it is too much. Maybe it is too much. Maybe we should have one more rat colony or something okay so we cut 
one swamp and uh, even more rat colonies. Yeah, because supernatural stamina is like additional copy, let's say. Because it makes trades a lot easier for us. Okay, so what do we... Oh, yeah, that hand is really good. We need one more land. I hope we wouldn't be punished for uh, that land we left in our sideboard. Because that would be really sad. Now we need lands and that's all. We need... And we draw into land. Oh, we would prefer swamp. Yeah, but it isn't that bad. Hmm. Well, somehow it is because we would like to cast Red Colony, then Bontus Monument, and then two Red Colonies. Okay, that's not good for us. Really not good, because he can block with them. I think this is a really hard matchup, because there are many things he. I mean, our opponent can do against us. Just this sapling migration is just great against rats. So now I guess we need Tetsuko and Swamps. These are our draws. Okay, what is that? Some removal, maybe? Just black mana? Okay. He decides to do this after combat. No. Okay. <coughs> Just no. Next one. Oh, hell. This isn't good. Okay, he attacks, he attacks. Guess I will offer the trade next turn. Or not? I don't know. Oh, next one. Okay. So, I guess what we need is Pontus Monument and then we wait for our lands to come. Or for Tetsuko, of course. Training our opponent is some kind of a plan. We have far more damage in hand. Mm hmm. But we have to see what is our opponent's play. Song of Realize it would be really great for him. We don't really have interaction this deck. It isn't that bad, I believe. Because all we want is casting rats. Okay, I don't want to offer to trade because it would be just... Yeah, I don't even know what to say. That's, we can't attack now. We have to wait. Maybe he will cast Spore Swam at the end of a turn. If that would be so, we need Tetsuko just next draw. But it wasn't so. It's Land Over Elves. These are Land Over Elves. And the next card is. Never. Okay. Could be worse. Well now all we really need is Tetsuko and land. We have secret salvage to bring in more rats. Oh, okay, Swamp is okay. So now we can cast one drain our opponent. And two red colonies. Next turn we can cast the next one. And hope we will go into Tetsuko. Because that actually wins us that game. We would cast it, drain our opponent, drain our opponent with red colony and then attack for quite a bunch. Okay, song. 
it's not good for us it gives plus one plus one okay could be worse but now he has plenty of mana some removal I guess five five black mana what is it noxious gearhawk I don't think it's good cut against us. Well, now it. Hmm. This turn it works bad. Like, really. Is that worth playing against rats? I don't think so. Okay, rat colony. Number 1000. Okay, so rat colony. Drain. Tetsuko, where are you? We need you. Like, really? Okay, mm I don't think I can attack with this. Okay, and this turn he might attack with Noxious. Okay, nine. 10 damage on board. One more land. I could cast never. Oh, uh, I mean return. Is that so? No, it's another big card. Really big card. Why would we tap Noxious? Okay. I would tap Mushrooms like you do now. It's really big card. Maybe Verdant Force. 10 mana. What is that? Okay. Torment of Hellfire. Oh, hell. Well, I didn't consider this as a choice for this build, but. Well, I, I guess it's great. Okay, so we have to do this eight times. Okay, so I guess we have to discard, discard. Hmm. Do we need Buntu's monument? I guess no. We need Tetsuko. Okay, now we can get into losing life. Lose free life, lose free life, lose free life. Oh no, oh no. One rat. Oh hell. Doesn't helpful at all. That way we. Hmm. Can we win that? I don't know. Maybe it's better to lose some life. I think that it... It isn't changing anything. We'll lose this game. Uh, oh. That was strange. Tetsuko? Be Tetsuko. Be Tetsuko. Oh no, you're land. Uh, okay. And you, yeah, yeah, we can concede inside the boarding. Hmm. Okay, so maybe we need that negate. Do we get to the city? Maybe two copies of. I don't know. Yeah, we'll run this. We'll run this the same way, like the last game. If we would draw into Tetsuko, it would be okay. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> this would be perfect hand. We would get into swamp, but no, I can't land, and I can't keep one land. No, okay, but I guess I have to keep this and land on top. 
Okay. Well, I don't like the thing we have. Two monuments. Mm, okay. I probably have uh, having two slums next turn. And we don't have anything that we could cast anyway. Okay, nothing. Okay, so now we cast our red colony, the first. And then we hope to draw Tetsuko and rats. We don't need anything else. This Bantu's monument is really great, but... Oh, it... This thing is legendary and that is just like really big downside of this card. Okay, next land of course. Okay, mm so now we... Now I guess we attack. I don't want him to know that we have monuments or colony in our hand, so yeah. We attack just for two and then drop our monument. And now, rats, we need you. And we need to hope that our opponent doesn't have subrolling migration. Migration. I mean, okay, driven creatures you control gain trample. Okay, so he will throw a card. Oh, okay. This aftermath is really good. So we don't want him to attack. Oh, no. Maybe attack with one creature is okay. Because we can discard monument anyway. Okay. It is a swamp. I guess I will cast... I will play Field of Ruin. Because uh, we don't want... Even a single more, uh, even a single copy of land in our hand now. So we will get one land from our deck. And mess up uh, his mana base a bit. Okay. So no. We do this our turn because he would get one more mana out of it. You know, he could tap his land and then search for the next one. Okay, so swamp. Because we don't need any more islands. And he has forest. Of course. Tetsuko, Tetsuko, we need you. Or secret salvage. There are many things we could draw that are really good for us. Phyrexian scriptures. Oh, non artifact creatures. Okay. Hmm, this is really good against us. Well, yeah. So, I guess we have to finish this quickly. Oh. Uh. You don't want lands. Okay, so we attack because we'll lose them anyway. So I don't mind. Yeah, okay, of course. Block this. I'm okay with that trade since we will lose our rats anyway. I guess the deck with Phyrexian scriptures and Gearhawks might be alright. You know, fourth turn you can. Or little artifact creatures. And Traxos, of course. 
Netherland, Netherland. <gasps> yeah, secret solved. Is it is perfect. It is perfect. Okay, so now we choose rats. One, two, three. Do do do. Okay. We take seven of them to discard. Or maybe not. He might. Okay, so we take seven anyway. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, done. Yay! Oh, I could. Oh, I should have taken eight of them. Okay, so next turn we will drain our opponent for quite a bunch. It is for five. Yes, for five. This boss one? Of course. Oh, and now. Yeah, we had to do this now. Oh, hell, hell, hell. He might cast this thing and make us discard some of our rats. So the situation isn't perfect. Despair, yeah, of course. Hmm. This is a perfect card against us now. Okay. And the menace. Oh no. Ah, well, but I don't think I would like to uh, trade anyway. So maybe I'm okay with that menace. Okay, so now we have to discard four cards. Okay, so we discard Bontus Monument, of course. And sadly, three of our rat colonies. Okay, always healed. It's a sad moment for rats. Yeah, but we'll. That's a go. Okay. So. Drain. Rain. I think I sh hmm, that I have to play this Tetsuko because he might have another copy of uh, this card that he just used. And we don't want to discard our Tetsuko, we risk that he has removal for it, but I guess it is a risk we just have to take and we drain him to six we can attack with this yeah of course I can it can be blocked oh <laughs> stupid okay so now he needs a sweeper of some kind or removal for Tetsuko as I said but now we just need to throw one rat to drain our opponent out this is all we need one rat. Or Tetsuko, because it it would train him anyway. Driven? Oh yeah, that's that's why I wanted to do that. Okay, they gain trample. But do I care? Do I care? Okay, so he will draw some cards. Do I want to block some of them? He will draw... It's... 2, 4, 6... 8... 9... I don't think he could have such a big pump, so I let it through. I don't want to risk because he will draw quite a plenty of cards and he would be able oh ho, ho, okay so <laughs> yeah I guess I will yield yeah but he has to put this on stack okay so now we have to wait 
always yield now this draw triggers and now this and uh, this of course yeah so we wait we wait okay and is that enough for our rats to win I believe there isn't a way would need a sweeper for free mana mmm discard with ascend that makes all of uh, of all of creatures minus two minus two GG our opponent we have kinda everything we need in our hand we need one more land to call this perfect hand free rats monument and that's to go yeah this is all we need and another rats yeah we love rats so you're okay with this we play swamp and pass the turn okay so what is his strategy fungal plot so another mushrooms deck probably hmm I love mushrooms decks but you know I would like to have different games to record yeah but it isn't that bad at least it's some um, interesting deck and not like mono red oh slimefoot it's slimefoot the build I love slimefoot this is just awesome card okay so we cast our Bantu's monument and next turn we can drain for free and have four rats on battlefield okay it's it looks really exciting for us maybe nah, I don't know if we would draw into land I would no no I guess I will I would like to cast the statue just before the big attack okay he attacks with slime foot which I'm okay with If he wouldn't have removal, Helm of the Host, okay. It's slow plan. Okay, it is a land. So now I guess rats. And the rats. <laughs> I love this deck. It's, it just hilarious. Rats, 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 rats. Just rats. I wonder how mono black rats would go. Okay, and maybe rats. It's awesome. Okay, we have five rats, they are pretty big. And now I attack for six. So with the drain packet, it was quite a turn. Ten damage big rats and Tetsuko next turn I don't know if we can lose it now he needs to have some sweeper or I don't know I don't even know he has just one swamp he could have he might have two black mana sources this turn but I don't think it's enough and he has nothing to exile with Fungal plots. Okay, mm so now we. Okay, Red Colony, of course. Make them even bigger? Okay, <laughs> oh, yeah, but it's good for us because he might not know that we have Tetsuko. Okay, what do I want to bring in? Maybe negates against this harm of the host because it might be really good with Dryad. 
I believe. Okay, so one key to the city out, one rat colony, and one more rat colonies. I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe this is the way. I still have it plenty. So it isn't like the worst thing we can do. Okay, we have... It's okay. Because we have four lands and rats. I hope we'll draw into monument or more rats in Tetsuko. And throughout the stands, one land for our secret salvage. Which is really great with rats. Yeah, okay, so it's another rat colony. We are okay with that draw. And I guess our opponent's play is just. Oh, hell. I hate this card against us. Okay, so we have next land, of course. But we don't really need now. Let's go, we wait, because you are all we need. And Monument would be okay, also. Because it works really well with Secret Salvage. Okay, okay, you attack with every mushroom you have. Okay, maybe he has more saplings migrations. Of course, he has. So we really need Tetsuko, and we draw yet another red colony, which isn't that bad. In a few turns I might really consider blocking some of the saps because we can get our secret salvage and get back all these rats, so I don't know, I'm of course I'm not okay with losing these rats mm. for to kill some token that you see, it isn't... uh-huh. Okay, so they get pretty big. Okay, so they hit us for 12. Mm -hmm -hmm. Okay, but I guess I have to let it through. Okay, I guess this this might be the end for us because he can just attack with everything. Yeah, we can block the saplings. No, we we'll lose anyway, don't we? Yeah, but we can wait. Maybe he will not attack and we'll make it work somehow. I don't know how. Okay, take our secret salvage. We have another one, but it won't make a difference. It is really hard match up against us. Really hard. As nearly any matchup with go wide strategy. Because without Tetsuko, these rats are useless. Okay, he's thinking about something. And now attack, if it's a big attack with everything I... Okay, so... I don't know. I would attack with everything. Because... Oh no, I... Oh yeah, I probably I wouldn't be killed because I could block Spore Crown Follies and they would get smaller. Maybe that was a good choice to wait a bit. Because now I need to draw into some creature. Oh, I don't think I can win that. I will wait for this draw, but... But it really doesn't make sense. Ok, 
Okay, another migration. So, I believe it's the end. Let's wait and see what we draw into. Okay, land, uh, we concede. I don't know if we need that negate. Maybe we need just more rats. Or stamina. It might be okay. For trading reasons. And I think we want this key to the city. Okay, so... I should catch something. <clears throat> Maybe Dragster? Is that an idea? Is that even something? Yeah, I think I can cut one dragster. And this should work somehow. We need just a few good draws and that's all. That's all. I would like to play first, of course. Okay, so... It is worth keeping. We have all the black sources, so we need our monument. To make it perfect. Or secret salvage maybe. So we are now on the plan. Turn to rat colony, turn free rat colony. Swing for free. <coughs> if we wouldn't have a creature, of course. And then Tetsuko and oh. Okay. It's strange our decks gives us what we want today in quite a plenty situation so yeah it's maybe it's a sign we wanted money okay fungal plots is also oh no I passed oh hell I was just oh okay well let's say it's not that bad because we'll drain for free but that was a really big punt it might cost us a game but I hope it wouldn't We can do quite a bunch of stuff next turn. Casting three rats. It will make them really big. Oh. Punt, punt, punty punt. Okay, so yeah. Now rat colony. Drain. We'll have a big, quite big rats, so. Maybe that should work somehow anyway. I guess it didn't change anything because he cast the Ziavimaya subhurt and we couldn't attack without casting Tetsuko. So, yeah. I guess it wasn't that bad in the end. Now, if he doesn't have removal. We can cast Tetsuko and just swing for a win. Okay, looks good. Hope he or she, of course, our opponent, I mean, doesn't have fungal plots, a uh, fungal infection, I mean, or mm, fatal push. That would wreck us. Maybe not wreck, but that would be really, really bad for us. Okay, so I guess that's you go. And swing for a win? Maybe. At least he can't destroy our Tetsuko with fungal infection. And it is really good that we have this secret salvage in hand. Okay, so it's turn 5. Do we... I miscounted? Oh, it's... Tw oh. <laughs> oh, no. What is happening to me? I miscounted. It's 12, not 16. It is a strange day. Strange day for me, you have to believe. But I guess it, we just win. Yeah, we can make them even bigger, but I don't think that uh, this is what I want. Okay, I attack with 
all the creatures. Is that a win? I believe. Okay, there is something. What is this that you have? Vicious offering. Of course. That was possible, I believe. Yeah, but we can drain him out anyway next turn. He might get some life by fungal plots. But I guess I don't really care. Okay, so... Pressure or salvage? I guess salvage. I guess salvage is the best idea. Yeah, red colony. Okay, and we win the game. That's great. Okay, so it's our next game. We play first. It's a bit risky hand. It could be really good if we would throw into island. I guess we keep that. I have to take this risk. Because we have some rats. Okay, he answers. Our opponent mold to six. Which we are okay with. Island Monument. I don't want anything else. Okay, so... We have land here. It's land, okay, next. Red Colony. If this is a slow deck, we are okay. But as it has black, it probably has a lot of removal. I hope these aren't next mushrooms because yeah I just started recording and two games were against mushrooms so yeah that's not what I want to record today so it's removal cast down okay We need that mana, like for real. Yeah, but it's oh yeah, it's it's a mana. Okay. So now I can cast Red Colony and swing in. Hope he wouldn't have removal. Has cast down, so it's really good with our Tetsuko. I mean it's good for us, of course, because it can't kill Tetsuko, Doomful. Oh no, oh no. What do you choose, opponent? But it isn't that bad. Next turn we can cast Red Colony and attack for 8. I wonder what will be the peak. It's probably just control deck, so shouldn't care about Tetsuko. He says wow, and Tetsuko go exile. With some smiley, I don't know what to say. I guess that's enough. Okay, so oh, and it's Tetsuko. It's great. <gasps> no. No, no, once again. Mm. I hope it wouldn't punish us. Or maybe it should because it's my second pant this day. Mm. Two damage more. Two more damage. Uh. Yeah, but. I hope it wouldn't punish us. He needs a sweeper. Yeah, okay. Oof. Oof. Okay, it's control deck, so we want our full packet of negates and the rest. And that should do it. Now we have to cut something. 
it's oval chair is dragster uh, the card we can cut I don't think we can cut monument key to the city is not so important don't it is not creature strategy so yeah we can cut one Tetsuko and then two red colonies and that should be okay if you wouldn't transform his deck we don't really need Tetsuko but he might put in some mm, oh hell I forgot name of that card 2-3 with lifelink and dead touch is a shame. Okay, so once again we don't have island but we have three rats and secret salvage which is a perfect card against removal heavy decks. So we keep that and I think he shouldn't bring in uh, the rest so probably our secret salvage is pretty safe okay two cards so now we cast our rat colony this turn <laughs> next land no don't do this deck we don't need more lands or at least give us an island well, not now. We don't need an island. Okay, Fatal Push. So we have target for our secret salvage. We have mana for a secret salvage in our hand. Dread Shade. Okay. That's scary. That's a bit scary. Okay, but... It isn't that scary. Just to use mana to pump it we have quite a bunch of rats we don't mind trading tr trading with him but this is really good blocker against us for mana for something just pumping or not not, not now okay he attacks we don't wanna block the stretch eight card is really good Okay, so he wants to cast something instant speed. And now we can cast Red Colony. And another one. And then attack. Do you have removal? You probably have. Opponent has three cards in hand. No? Damage. Hmm, that's strange. What is the... Oh, Dark Bargain. I do really like this card. It's like Mono Black Glimmer of Genius. Raskas Contempt. I don't know. I, I would keep that. Okay, what is next play? <laughs> okay, so he wants to use dinosaur to kill us. So next game, if we won't win, but I believe we still can win. Because we have quite a packet of these rats because I want to attack because he will kill our rats next turn anyway so yeah rat colony to make rats bigger so he will lose dread shade during blocking because he has to block something he might have removal Okay, so we are not in a 
bad shape. Because now we can secret salvage. Okay, so he casts his big dino. And now we have just one rat colony. Hmm. I guess we have to secret salvage anyway. Yeah, that's what we do. I don't think we want the second secret salvage because yeah now we need just rats one two three four five and six done okay and during cleanup we can discard our secret salvage and next turn we just want to cast rats that's all we are going pretty much all in with this but seven rats in hand it's that should do it we can cast two okay he can't he so he wants to take one of our rats I believe I would love Bontu's monument the rest okay I'm okay with the res. Now I would like Bunty's monument or this would Bunty's monument would be perfect. But land or Tetsuko. No oh, I'm I don't want Tetsuko. We need blue mana for that. Okay, so it's another secret salvage. So I can get even more rats. And I'm okay with this. Okay, do I want to attack? I believe. He has to block. Okay, so now you have to destroy some rat or cast something. Okay, he begins combat, attacks. Okay, so he probably has some removal. Uh -huh. moment of craving. This is good card against us. Land, land is okay. Because now we can cast quite a bunch of our rats make them really big I think he has some removal but yeah, I, I think we we are in good shape we have four air yeah, so that's Raska's Contempt he gets even more life but he has just one card in hand one Tetsimoke we have two rats. We need removal. Like for real. Might attack to put pressure on our rats. We'll block with two of them. Since we have secret salvage and we can recover pretty quickly. Oh I oh no. Hmm. Okay, so we lose our rats but okay oh hell okay so now I guess the only thing I can do is cast in red colony and another one and put some pressure on our opponent And next turn we will just cast secret salvage 
or Tetsuko if we would draw into blue source. Yeah, if we would draw into blue source, I would just cast both Salvage and Tetsuko. So yeah, once again, we'll try to trade. Since this Tetsimo is a big threat. Do you have that? No. Okay, so our board got smaller. He has big amount of mana in his hand. This is a tough decision. This is a tough decision to make. I guess I will begin with attacking opponent because he can't really lose that turn. Okay, now we cast Secret Salvage, targeting our rat colony. One, two, three, four, five, six. Done. And I will discard Tetsuko during cleanup since we don't have blue source of mana. Monument, we need you. We have so many rats in graveyard. Okay, what is this? It might be Torment of Hellfire. Battle at the bridge. Oh no! He gains his life back. But do we mind? Anyway. Okay, we have Field of Ruin. So we can destroy this Gabble Stronghold. But do I want to do this? It's wasting. It's a waste of mana. Yeah, but I guess I have to do this. I don't want to run into Torment of Hellfire. Oh no. Another Panda. I should have chosen uh, blue mana. Yeah, but now it's pretty hard for our opponent because we have two rats on board so he needs some blocker or removal because we will make them really big with the rest of okay <laughs> now the blue source would be really helpful okay so yeah then we just cast rats that's what we do I don't think I want to cast oh yeah I we go all in with our rats. All in. And is that enough? Anyway, it was really fine match to play. It is fine match to play because we have to wait for our opponent to Bound to last reckoning. Of course, now our negate would be perfect, but yeah, that's how it is. Now he casts something, Gunty, which is really good in this moment. Oh yeah, that pant punished us, and another black source. Yes, yeah, so I will just cast this rat and another rat. I will leave swamp in hand in case of torment of hellfire or anything else, but I don't think it changes anything. He draws a card. His lands remain tapped. Is that Card is GD, yeah, GD. Whew. So this punt wasn't that punishing. Uh, it was a really big punt, so I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Okay, so this is our next uh, next game. <coughs>
we want a die roll, we want to start, but I can't keep that, it's one lander and all of the expensive cards, this is a lot better, I believe, yeah, I think it's okay, I like that there is key to the city, okay, we need more lands, we need more lands, so I keep it on top. Uh, I like the thing that we have key to the city because <laughs> this is strange, but I couldn't just uh, hit that card. You know, I I was testing this deck before uh, recording of games, and I always had two copies of key to the city from the very beginning, and I couldn't uh, hit that. It was only on paper when I could try key to the seat and it was pretty pretty good. Okay. But for now we need rats. Next land would be okay. Because we could cast key to the city and the rat colony. Oh no, we couldn't do that. Uh, no, we will have just three lands anyway. So, <clears throat> so yeah, that's that's the thing. Alfheim Druid. Okay, so it's a ramp deck. Probably with some kicker spells. So it shouldn't be that fast, and I don't think that our opponent would like to trade. Well, it wouldn't be a trade, he would just lose his way to ramp. So yeah, we attack with our colony. And next turn we'll cast... Probably we'll cast Key to the City and Red Colony. Only things that can change that plan are... Tetsuko and Monument, I think. Okay, so it's Marwin. Our opponent missed a land drop, and we are okay with this. Hmm. Okay, so maybe change of plans. We cast even more rats <laughs> because yeah, <laughs> that's why. That's because uh, we don't mind trading with Marwin because it's really a cute card. <clears> okay, <throat> so we potentially hit for 10, which is great. Yeah, but he wants to trade, and I can see why. Probably I would do the same. So yeah, now we have three rats. It's not bad. <clears throat> it's not bad because we can make them unblockable with key to the city. It just depends what we will draw into. Okay, it's still Leaf Champion. Which is a right. Since he has to block something not to be killed. Yeah, yeah, I want to cast this key to the city. Uh, leave the swamp in hand to discard it. And I would love to draw some card while untapping it. Okay, so we can make the rat unblockable. It doesn't really change anything now, but but yeah, I think we just have to we'll draw additional card next time. <clears throat> so yeah, now he trades. So I these are just elves, so probably these mono green elf stack which is awesome because I love tribal decks. I think it's possible to do it playable, to make it playable deck, because you have Mimic, Lanowar Elves, Steel Leaf Champion on second turn is just... it's monstrous. 
Okay, so now we want to draw into rat colony. Make one rat unblockable and just swing for a win. That's what we want. Okay. <coughs> uh, so we pay two. Yes. <laughs> he drew into swamp. And oh, that that should do it. I would love to keep our plan secret, but I don't want to risk. Okay, so we win the first game. <coughs> what do we want? I guess Ruin Rat is okay. Oh no, it can't block Steel Leaf Champion. So, no, we don't want this Ruin Rat. We want Supernatural Stamina. And that's it, I believe. One Oval Chase. Rat Colony, Rat Colony. I hate Catamon Rat Colonies. And one Key to the City. That way. Yeah, I think that that's the way it should go. If we wouldn't win this game, I will just bring one rat more and get rid of Oval Chase um, Dragster. Oh, our opponent loves these rats, so I will recommend our channel. So wait a second. Okay, <laughs> so it's n uh, no lander. Okay, mulligan. It's a lot better. Not perfect, but but just better. Okay, so yeah, I keep that. We have Red Colony and Secret Salvage. Our opponent, uh, I don't think we need another colorless mana. So to the bottom. Okay, so we have Secret Salvage and Red Colony. So even if we lose our no lands, oh yeah, okay. Oh, it's not mono green. That makes sense. Okay, another secret salvage. It's not what I wanted to see. I would love more rats or monument. Yeah, really, the monument will be great. <coughs> monument and. Uh, <coughs> mm, uh, hell. Monument and uh, rats. This is what we did, but we drew it to island. So we cast our rat colony. <coughs> and yeah, that is that is something. At least we'll be probably able to get into uh, secret salvage in a few turns. Because we need just one more land, one well, one more land, and then we will fill our hand with rats. So yeah, monument and rats is what we and Tetsuko. Yeah, monument and Tetsuko is what we need. Okay, so island probably yeah island will be okay and now I will offer the trade and cast supernatural stamina 
to get rid of something if he would block but he hmm he I uh, didn't want to trade it is understandable just to damage maybe I should have left that for blocking Hala. whenever he cast a spell also it's uh, just kicker elves deck okay so now he makes his Morrowind bigger yeah I'll probably leave these rats for trade next turn Anything else? Okay, it's Oval Chase Dragster. Hmm. Do I want to use that now? Probably yes. Hmm. <laughs> But it's strange now. I'd love to have Red Colony in Graveyard next turn. But... Yeah, I guess we have to do this. Dragster. It's sad that it will probably die. But yeah. We just have to. I believe... This is a really good card with Tetsuko because you know you can get 6 damage unblockable. But now it's pretty much okay. If he blocks with Lanor Elves, we are okay with this because it's still 5 damage and one less ramp card for him. And if he wouldn't block, as it is, we still get 6 damage, so yeah. I guess the card just paid for itself. 4 mana 6 damage is alright. So now we need more rats. Oh, something big is coming. Kavu, maybe? Or not? Our opponent wants to wait. Or not? Hmm, okay, seven mana. So Oh Okay, and was kicked so Oh yeah that's that might be a bit of problem. Okay, his board state is really impressing. I would attack with that elf. But Hmm Key to the city might be useful since I don't think he would be able to kill us next turn. Hmm. So we can just Oval Chase Dragster make it make it unblockable. Yeah, I guess that's the plan. I guess that's the plan. Okay, so key to the city. We'll discard one secret salvage. Oh, cancel, cancel, cancel. We want to be creature first. Okay, done. So now we'll discard a card. Secret salvage, we don't need two of them. And now we attack and our opponent needs some removal. Or life gain, I guess. So, yeah. Now it's our opponent's turn. I really like this deck. It's this kicker thing. And elves. It's just awesome. You know, you have dragon here. It's just anything you would like to see in a deck, or at least what I would like to see. I love dragons and tribal decks, so it's perfect combination. Okay, so it's beginning of a combat. He attacks with his dragons. Whenever you cast this spell. Okay. 
I see. So we can't block that. <coughs> okay, and it's the end. So yeah, now we want to pay. Do you have one more? Yes. It's Red Colony. That's really good for us. Okay, so... Yeah, I believe we have to do our thing. Uh, crew. Done. Okay, and now we have to see if he has some removal. Red Herald, do you have it? I hope we'll be able to survive next turn if he has it. If not, that was just an awesome game. But no, we have to wait a bit to see. Oh, oh yeah. That was a punt. He has a removal, but it's sorcery. Okay, so GG, our opponent. That was a great game to play, Red Herald. It is a red deck, so it might be a hard match for us. Okay. Black Red. But I don't think it's an aggro deck because yeah, if it was aggro deck, he would already cast something. So yeah, we now cast our rat colony. Next turn, bonus monument, and since then we just want to draw rats, and that's you go, and that is our plan. And that is our plan. <coughs> third land, so our opponent don't want to miss land drops. Minotaur with menace. That's strange. That's okay. I don't mind. I will offer a trade. We have three rats in hand, so... I'm okay with losing one of them. Of course, I would prefer our opponent to let that through, but I don't mind. Okay, so now we can cast our bonus monument, and next turn we'll cast at least two rat colonies. I think that it must be some really budget build that our opponent plays because you know you don't normally see that Minotaur it's not awesome it is free mana yeah maybe the menace thing is is something here but I'm not sure if it's worth it Yes, so now our opponents want to cast something. Dark Inquiry. Okay. It is something. We don't really care since it takes one turn away from our, our opponent and we will probably just lose one red colony. And we have a plenty in the deck. So it's better than a creature that could block our rats. Monument. That wasn't the best of things he could take. Maybe he... Our opponent, I mean. Doesn't know that uh, this is legendary. Permanent. Okay, so... Now his Minotaur gets bigger. It makes sense with this cartouche. Because <coughs> now it's pretty big and hard to block. 
So maybe this build has something in it. Okay, but now we start playing our game. Red Colony number one. Okay. And Red Colony number two. I would love to have swamps instead of this island. But it's okay. It's okay. Next turn we'll cast two more colonies. So we'll probably get in for a plenty of damage. Okay, but for now it's four. The draining part of this monument is really great. I love it. And thanks to our opponent's punt, we are in pretty good situation since we really don't mind our opponents uh, this um, making us uh, discard this monument since we have one already. <coughs> okay, but he pays for something. Maybe he has uh, like a braid or something. Lightning strike. Okay, I don't really mind. Mm, maybe I would if you. By you, I mean uh, our opponent. Have uh, one more. That would be a problem. Oh, he makes it even bigger. So it's black red arrows. Strange choice. I think that. I think that. Blue red build would be a lot better but maybe I'm not right okay I will let that through since I want to get him in with these two rats next turn and probably well let's count so we get two he lose two yeah that should be a win our rats grow bigger and bigger yeah, and that should do it. So that was quite a race, but now we finish this game. And we had to gain two. <coughs> well, I hope he wouldn't scoop it up. Okay, so we begin sideboarding. Normally I say GG after, you know, two games. But okay, we, what, what do we want? Maybe Ruin Rat and Supernatural Stamina Ruin Rat because it has Death Touch and uh, it is probably our opponent doesn't have too many creatures, so and they are pretty big with all these auras, so yeah, we want to destroy them with our rat. And I think it's more important than having oval chase dragsters and key to the city. And now I think we can cut four or three our rats and Tetsuko because we have different rats, so it's well about yeah I I think we need Tetsuko. Yeah, I think this is this is how we want it. <coughs> we also have supernatural stamina against the uh, removal and for trading purposes. Okay, so we have two copies of ruin rats, which is okay. Field of ruin to search for uh, an island if we would draw into uh, Tetsuko. So yeah we have some plan. This is okay. Evolving wilds. Okay so our opponent is into slow start and he mulliganed. So it makes things a lot easier for us. Okay, so swamp and go. <coughs> okay, 
on turn three we cast Buntus Monument. Trespassers Curse. Okay, so it's one to one with our monument. But it's good card against us. We are mainly creature decks, so yeah, that's what you probably need uh, against creature decks. Okay, so now we lose one life, opponents gets one life, but we are okay with it since in next turn we cast Bontus Monument. It might be a bit problematic if he would draw into this discard card, which name I forgot because I it was first time I saw that card in play actually. Fistering money it's it's really good against us. And this is also really good against us. So well I believe it was perfect choice for our opponent. Might be hard for us to of course, second monument. Yeah, but now we we'll just cast this one and hope that it will be enough. I guess we can attack since we don't want to block anyway and if he would block this mummy wouldn't have a target. So yeah. That's the plan. And next turn we can cast two more colonies. Or maybe a ruin rat. Okay, so it's dead that creature. Well I would really love to have Tetsuko since our opponent plan is a bit slow with this one one creatures. But it's uh, really good against us. Okay, he attacks with his fanatical firebrand, which I'm okay with. Secret salvage is not what we need. Okay, so I guess I will cast. Rat Colony Drain our opponent and then uh, let him drain us And the Ruin Rat I sh next time I will yield to this. Okay, it's pretty sad because now our opponent has targets for festering mummy, so mm, yeah. I think he will block yeah, that's what he wants to do. But I think it's important to cut all of these creatures. Okay, but what is his choice? Okay. Red Colony. So now he has just two creatures. We have two of them in hand and Secret Salvage. So now we are okay with drawing lands. Swamps are what we prefer or Drowned Catacombs. They would be perfect. Okay, but our opponent has something. Mm, okay, once again. I would love him to choose Bontus Monument once again. <coughs> really okay with that choice. Oh no, yeah. It wasn't. He didn't want to make that mistake once again. Uh, yeah. Now, will you attack or not? Hmm. Okay. Um. 
hell. That's really good against us. Really good. And that is why I want to... No, I want to block fanatical firebrand since if we would draw into Tetsuko hmm okay uh, if he we will draw into Tetsuko we don't want to, him to have this option to destroy our creatures okay it's swamp so once again ruin rat oh always yield okay and always yield okay now it's now it will be faster and rat colony i believe This trespassers curse was really good choice that our opponent made. Now we have just you know cheap rats with our monument, and we will already drain our opponent for a plenty. Yeah, but now I guess we will wait. Beat. What is this? Target opponent. Oh, creature refine. It might be a bit problematic. Hmm. It isn't that bad of a card. But I don't think I want to trade with anything. Now I need a way to make our rats unblockable. It's rat colony. Hmm. Oh, we don't have non-basic non land to destroy. Uh, okay. Well, I guess I have to just cast that rat. And hope that we would draw into secret salvage. And the land. So there is this eight turns clock, yeah. but probably Rupont has some aura to put on. It. Oh, the one with lifelink. Yeah, it's it's really cheap deck. I guess it's like one ticks deck, <laughs> but it's this game in, it performs really well against us. I don't really think there is a chance for us to win this game. We need a lot of things and... Hmm. Yeah, it will be just hard. All these creatures that our opponent had, they are perfect against us. Okay, we have Ruin Rat. That wouldn't... No, I guess we can scoop it up, but I will wait for a turn or two. Maybe we'll make our rat colony really big and then... And then we'll be able to finish our opponent, but I don't think it's possible. And now it's even bigger. Yeah. Now we don't... No, it's impossible to win now. Okay, so what do we want? Strat Colony. I think we need that key to the city. Not sure if over supernatural stamina. Maybe one Red Colony. Key to the city. One Bontus Monument. Key to the city. Maybe. Maybe this is a way. We should go. Our, our deck is really powerful, but we need some time to 
set up and uh, it is sometimes weak against removal decks and the kind of removal that our opponent has is the worst for us since these are all minus one minus one counters or one damage or small creatures that can block our rat colonies and all these things make it really hard for us <coughs> really really hard in the previous games we didn't have th this problem because normally no one plays these creatures <laughs> that are uh, you know that small and can go that wide we had some problems with uh, mushrooms but <laughs> yeah we we made it somehow with our unblockable rats and I think it's the only way we can win games against uh, I know just small creature and small removal decks so now we just wait for some mission our opponent probably creates new plan to finish our perfect series we have four wins now uh, if I remember well so if we would win that game that we have to play now we have just perfect match and perfect dry test with only winnings wins I mean huh. <laughs> Well, but it's strange. It it is taking him really big amount of time, but these are just uh, twenty seconds that we have to wait. And uh, yeah, then then this should do it. I hope he isn't AFK. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Go. Okay. We would like to play first. Oh yeah. This is this is really good. This is really really good. This ruin rat. Uh, it was bad in the last game because it's. Uh, I put it in here because of you know this uh, I thought that the plan is that our opponent plays big creatures uh, not big but you know cheap but somehow big 3-2 menace and then put some around it and that's the plan yeah but as you can see uh, this isn't the only plan Next small creature, a ruin rat once again. So we play our rat colony. And now we wait. I don't think I. Mm. <laughs> I don't have plan for now. Probably we'll just play next rat colony. And next turn we could if we would draw into land we could cast one more rat and Tetsuko so we would get in for a plenty but I hope that our opponent doesn't have uh, removal maybe he has because two mana left untapped and attacked with his night market lookout. Oh no 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 one pant pant panty pe pant pant pam panty pant pam pa pow Okay so I attack and it was next pant today This is normally I don't think I have that many bands. Maybe the thing is that uh, I always try to cast my creatures uh, during second main phase because it's just better you attack our opponent doesn't know if we have something or we don't have it and then we cast our creature and that's what I'm used to do. 
Oh no, no! Why? Why in the? Why would anyone play that card? Why? It just so bad, so bad, yet so good against us. It doesn't make sense. It's like deck created to be our nightmare. Like for real. Why in the world would you play that card? <laughs> no. Now I'm just sad. Red Colony makes it a bit better for us, but mm, it's not really great for us for now. Yeah, next turn our rat gets pretty big. 4-1 with Tetsuko unblockable. But the plan works out only if our opponent doesn't have removal. This was just great for him. Two cards for one. Value. Value down. Okay, what is the next card you play? Dispossess. Okay. I'm okay with this. It takes turn away from our opponent, so and I don't mind him taking one copy of Buntu's monument that we have. It isn't like our main plan. So yeah, okay. Now opponent, will you attack or do you want to block us? And he attacks, okay. It's reasonable. Probably our opponent uh, doesn't know that we have Tetsuko in hand. He should know it, uh, that we have it in our deck. Hmm. Okay, so I guess there's a slight change of plans. I want to leave up this supernatural stamina in case he would have some removal. So this is a bit slower plan, but I think it is just better. Now I would really love to have rat colony and not ruin rats because that would be just game ending but yeah we have them in for some reason and I think that in right game they can just uh, do wonders you know just have a creature that can block anything and destroy it it is okay I like it And that is why we need supernatural stamina. And it gets back. Oof, yeah. We lose a blocker against Night, Ma Night Market Rookout, but. I'm okay that the thing that he lost his removal in that easy way. Probably in the current situation that we have here, uh, supernatural staminas are our best throws. But Red Colony is also okay. <laughs> yes, so we release all our rats. And then we attack with everything but Tetsuko. So we hit for six. And now our opponent needs an answer. He needs to kill Tetsuko.
three cards in hand. Is there a removal? The lie. Splendid agony. Wouldn't do it. It would just kill our. Oh, yes, yeah, so I guess we. We win. Is that so? Oh, it comes haste. But I don't mind. You can have it. Like for real, I don't mind. We have five. Yeah, twelve. And with Tetsuko, thirteen. And blockable damage. Yeah, now I want to block this. We are at seven. And that should do it. We play our land. Okay, is it, are this GG? Yeah, GG. Thank you for playing. And now we attack. Because we love attack with our rats. <laughs> I really like this deck. Okay, and we win. So that's how we roll. Today we've reached perfect 5 wins drive test, which is great for such a budgety deck. We haven't played against any tier 1 decks, but Mushrooms, Kicker and Mono Black control decks were powerful and I'm really happy that the deck performed so well against them. Even though I've made puns a few. <laughs> the last deck we played against was pure junk, but it was just perfect against Red Colony deck and all these minus one, minus one counters. It was just extremely painful for us. Well, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If that is so, hit this like and subscribe buttons below. See you soon.